Plus, coming up a little later on this morning, he's world champion gold medal figure skater Jeffrey Buttle will join us, talk about his big win and what he has his sights on next. Plus, an uncanny resemblance. I was going to say, I didn't know Bill could skate. <laughs> to someone here on the morning news, we're going to talk to Jeffrey about that. We're back in a moment. weather on the way and he won gold for Canada at the World Figure Skating Championships Jeffrey Bottle joins us after the break to talk about his win and his role in the 2010 Olympic Games you're watching the morning news on global and now zero degrees outside in Toronto as you take a live look at the harbor lots of sunshine this afternoon 11 years since Elvis Stoiko won gold at the World Figure Skating Championships but the drug for Canada is now over Jeffrey Bottle's flawless performance has earned him the title of world champion, and he's here this morning to talk to us about his experience. Congratulations yeah. and welcome. Thanks a lot. Thank you. What's it been like since uh, the big win on Saturday night? Um, it's been overwhelming, actually. Uh, been doing a lot of uh, media, and I uh, just finally got to see my family tomorrow, So that was, or yesterday. That was great. It was nice to be home and to actually uh, to, to feel a little more grounded after. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Tell me about this performance. It, w it was a remarkable one to see. What was going through your mind? Um, you know, I just wanted to go out and skating last in the whole event. There's, uh, you know, a, a fair amount of pressure on you. So I just went out and I wanted to enjoy myself. And, uh, you know, I felt relaxed on the ice and my coach kept me level headed and I, I just was in the zone. Did you have any uh, inclination when you were finished, when you just finished, that this may be the one to, to put you on the podium and give you the gold? Uh, I'm, I, I had an, an inkling that it would be enough for a medal. I, I w All I know is that the skater before me from France, Brian Joubert, had skated an excellent program. Uh, the audience's reaction as I stepped on the ice was evident. And uh, I, I got in the kiss and cry, and I just asked my coach, do you think it, it's enough for a medal? And he said, oh, I think it's enough for the gold medal. And, and you have it right here with you. Today. I do, yeah, so I there brought it, it with is. me. Uh, and that's going to go very nicely alongside the uh, the bronze that you already have uh, from the Olympics. And obviously now your eyes have got to be on 2010. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, as soon as I finished, I thought to myself, well, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of what I accomplished. And then immediately my mind went to uh, things that I could improve and, and uh, better uh, as I approached Vancouver. This has been a, a bit of a road back from you, uh, for you. you. You had quite the serious injury, the, the stress fracture. And tell me about getting back to the top of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, last season, I was off the ice for about uh, three months, just doing rehab for my back. Uh, it didn't, you know, I'm, as soon as I got back on the ice, it wasn't looking so <laughs> great, obviously. Um, and I, and you know, I wanted to obviously be on the, the top of the world. I just wasn't sure that it would happen as quickly as it did. So. Very fortunate for that. What I mean, what does it take in terms of motivation to say that's it? I'm I'm going to get back and I'm going to be the top. Um, it just all the great people around me, my coaches, uh, Lee Barkel and Raphael Arutunian, um, my family. Obviously, they were the ones that were helping me those crappy days. I didn't uh, think that I would even be able to, to skate again. So. Um, those were the people that helped me through it. And I think we have some pictures of uh, your mom at the airport when you <laughs> came back in at Pearson and, and kind of a mob scene for you there as uh, <laughs> yeah, all the media weird. gathered around. What, what was this like? <laughs> um, this was definitely unique. Um, my parents usually come and pick me up at the airport when I come back from a competition. This is certainly the first time that we were accompanied by so many cameras. <laughs> <laughs> usually it's just you and the, your parents. <laughs> yeah, usually they just drive by and I hop in the car. <laughs> well, congratulations. It's, it's, uh, it, it's been just a great win, and things are going to be different for you now. You get, you get a sense of maybe going to the grocery store is going to be a different experience for you going forward? <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be recognized a lot more. I'm wondering if anybody ever uh, stops you to ask you what the weather is going to be, because I don't know if you've met our Bill Coulter, our, uh, our weather uh, presenter here, but is this not uncanny a little <laughs> bit? Just, a, just a, a little bit of a similarity there? <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations again, and all the very best uh, <laughs> going forward, and we'll hope to see you on top of the podium again in 2010. All right, thanks a lot. All right. World champion, Jeffrey Buttle. 848, the similarity is truly spooky. Pooja, you have details on a car fire right now.